Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with PwC. So if you don't know by now, PwC is actively hiring and they are taking applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity for all of you guys that are looking for a job right now because as you already know, PwC is one of the big four and is a pretty great company to work at. So in this video, we'll be talking about the opening, we'll be talking about the eligibility, We'll be talking about how you can get your resume shortlisted and I'll tell you exactly what you need to put in your resume and we're going to talk about how you'll be able to clear the interviews as well. So everything that you need will be in this video so make sure that you watch it till the end. And just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about all of the off-campus hirings so if you're a college student or a fresher looking for a job right now then make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you'll be seeing a lot of hiring updates and guides on how to crack them. All right so coming back to this opportunity First of all, this is a very rare opportunity because it's been after very long that PwC is hiring. So let's get the eligibility out of the way first. So you are eligible if you have graduated in 2025 or before. So if you're a 2025 grad, 2024 grad, 2023 grad, then you are eligible. Okay. This is the eligibility that they have clearly mentioned. So if you're a BTEC, MTech or MCA graduate who graduated in 2025, then you are eligible and you can apply for this. Now, if you still have any doubt about the eligibility, then feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll be there to clarify it for you. And now let's get to the most important part. That is how to get your resume shortlisted. So a lot of you guys have been commenting me and sending me messages saying that you're having difficulty in getting your resume shortlisted. And the reason is that you're not having the relevant keywords and the relevant content in your resume. If you don't have the content in your resume that the company is expecting, then their system is going to automatically reject your resume. All right, so let's discuss in details everything that you need to keep in your resume. So let's start off with the most basic thing that is, of course, having a programming language. So this is a complete tech role. So you need to showcase that you have skills in any programming language. Now, the programming language that will give you an edge here is going to be Python. So you need to put Python in your resume. Okay, make sure that you have Python in your resume. And if apart from that, if you have JavaScript, then that will also give you a bit of edge. So if you have these programming languages, especially Python, that will give you a great edge over other candidates. Now, apart from this, I'll be giving you a list of all the keywords that you can put in your resume to have the better chances of getting shortlisted. Now, that list of keywords in the, is in the description box. You can check it out from there. But as I always remind you, do not put anything in your resume that you're not confident with. Okay, you can learn and then put. So if I've said something in my keyword list that this XYZ keyword is there, you can learn it and then put it in the resume. So only put things that you're comfortable learning or that you're comfortable working on or you have learned or worked in the past. Okay, so you can learn and then put it in the resume. But a list of dedicated keywords will be in the description box. You can have a look at that. Okay, so apart from that, you need to have some really good high quality projects. So if you have Gen AI projects or if you have Gen AI integrated in your project, that will give you a bit of edge. So if you have full stack with Gen AI projects, then that's going to be a great hand for you. Apart from that, if you have Python related projects, if you worked on Python, if you worked on data, if you worked on ML, if you worked on Gen AI, then again, that will give you a bit of edge. All right. So these are the type of projects that if you have in your resume, it will give you a better chance of getting shortlisted. And apart from that, I've already told you, you can refer to the keywords that is there in the description box. And of course, apart from that, you need to focus on few general things. You need to have a good template and you need to focus on having a high ATA score resume. A lot of people come to me with their resume and when I check its ATS score, it is below 60 or it is below 70. And that is something that is not going to work. You need to make sure that the ATS score of your resume is above 80. And apart from that, you need to have a good template. So what I'll be doing, I'll be giving you a template in the description box. You can use this template to basically form a resume. And apart from the template, of course, you need to focus on your ATS score. Make sure your resume is ATS friendly and make sure it has minimum 80%. Okay, these two things matter a lot. A lot of people ignore these things and then end up getting their resume rejected. Apart from that, if you want to go down the route of referral, you can do that as well. Just find any PwC employee and then you can ask them to refer you. You can basically message them to refer you and try to find someone working in tech division of PwC. So try to find an analyst or an associate and they'll be able to refer you. So when you're messaging, keep care of three things. You have to give your resume as a drive link. You have to give an introduction and you have to give the role ID or the job ID. Okay. And if you want a referral template, then that also I'll give you in the description box. Basically, you can edit that referral template and use that to message any PwC employee. Okay. So make the changes I've said to your resume, update your resume, upgrade your resume, 
and apart from that you can also ask for referral the referral template is also going to be in the description box so doing all of these things will give you the best chance of getting shortlisted and of course after that you'll be having the interviews so the interviews at pwc are not going to be too difficult it's not going to be on the same level as some other companies it's going to be on the easy medium side it's going to be on the easier side so what i'll be doing i'll be giving you some interview experiences in the description box you can go through that and you'll be able to understand what the interview process is going to be like so go through the interview experiences and prepare accordingly there's only few things that you need to prepare it's not going to be very difficult so i'll be giving you some preparation material as well if you get shortlisted you can use that material to basically prepare for it and make sure that you go through the interview experiences before the interviews all right so that's pretty much it you don't need to do a lot just make the appropriate changes to your resume you have time to apply for this the deadline is 21st of august so don't be in a rush to apply just prepare a proper resume and then you can apply accordingly all right so that's pretty much it everything you need you'll be finding in the description box and even if you don't get selected in this do not worry there's going to be a lot of hirings during this time all the way from august to september october november there's going to be a lot of companies hiring you just need to be prepared you just need to be subscribed and stay tuned for the videos because as soon as there's an opening i will be making a video on how you can get shortlisted and how you can apply and basically crack it so that's pretty much it watch out for more videos and let me know after applying